All right now we want to get you updated on the breaking news that we have been following all morning long. It's out of Madison Heights. Yes, and this is where police shot a burglary suspect outside of the Knights Inn. Nick Monticelli has been monitoring this for us throughout the morning, talking with investigators about what led up to this shooting. Yeah, what's interesting too is that even though the shooting happened here at the Knights and it all started in Auburn Hills when police saw this person stealing a safe. I'm going to step out of the way so you can see what is happening here. Investigators still marking down all the evidence, putting down placards for shell casings, taking lots of photographs, which is standard in a situation like this where they are forced to shoot a suspect. I do want to show you a piece of video, though. This is the suspect's vehicle, and I'll explain how we got here in just a moment, but this is the vehicle the suspect used to try to not only ram police cars, but run over officers that were outside of those police cars, using that vehicle as a weapon, and, and then the Warren police officers were forced to shoot that suspect who is currently at Beaumont Hospital. He was in surgery at last check. I believe he is now in critical condition. Let's back up though. At about 1.30 this morning, the Warren Police Department, they were keeping tabs using their special ops surveillance team on a man who had an outstanding warrant, uh, a long criminal history, including robbery, drugs, uh, and also parole violations. So they were keeping an eye on this man who just so happened coincidentally to decide to break into some place and steal a safe while they were watching him. Now, because these are undercover surveillance teams, they are not marked units, so they decided they would follow him and call for backup. So they followed him from Auburn Hills all the way here to Madison Heights. When they got here, the other officers were waiting in marked units in uniform, and they tried to pull this man over in the parking lot here and make arrests. So coming back out here live, as you can see, it's still an active scene as they try to arrest him. That is when he used his vehicle as essentially a battering ram, trying to run into those officers and their vehicles. No officers were injured. That man, again, is in the hospital. I should point out in the motel room, because the man was staying here, was the man's girlfriend and two children. They're not hurt. They were not involved in any of this. They just happened to be in that room while the man was trying to run over officers over on that side. We're live here in Madison Heights. Nick Monticelli, Local 4 News today.